If you play basketball, what are the common injuries and how can you potentially prevent them? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. You might be surprised, but basketball has one of the highest injury rates of any competitive sport. You know, if you look at ER visits, basically injuries that require you going to an emergency room or in, you know that people t go to the emergency room for it, basketball is one of the highest there is. I think that over 200,000 people, if I remember the statistic, of just young people that play basketball, it's like over 200,000 in the United States alone injuries occur uh, that are seen in United States emergency rooms. I think it's in a lot of studies, it's in the top three or four uh, overall highest injury rates of any sport. Now fortunately, most injuries in basketball are fairly minor, but there are some common ones that are important to know about and get checked out if you have them. Now, probably the most common injury in most competitive sports, most team sports especially, is an ankle sprain. So it is by far the highest or most common injury in basketball. You know, you go to, to get a rebound or take a shot and you land maybe on somebody's foot and you roll your ankle. Very, very common. That's why you see a lot of basketball teams where the athletic trainers will tape the player's ankles before every practice. And that's somewhat controversial, but there is some thought that maybe the tape might help prevent ankle sprains. But they're very, very common. That's why there's this big debate about and why for decades, basically, basketball players wore high top shoes. Now that's come into some debate over the last you know, few years, but you know, a reasonable thing to, to at least think about. But if you have an ankle sprain, that can be really important in terms of getting over it. So rest from basketball, physical therapy to get your strength and motion and balance and what we call proprioception, sort of a joint position sense, so that one, uh, you can get back to play, and two, that you don't suffer a recurrent injury. Finger injuries are really common as well. You can basically hit the end of your, you know, the ball hits the end of your finger and causes a tendon injury, what we call a mallet finger. You can actually dislocate the, the DIP, the, the knuckle or joint at the tip of the finger, the one just before that, the PIP. Finger injuries are not uncommon. It can just be hitting it, but it doesn't actually cause a rupture or something like that. It essentially jams it. That's not at all uncommon either. You can also get your finger caught or pulled a certain way, either guarding somebody and it gets caught in their jersey, or the ball hits you like that, injuring the ligament on the inside of your thumb, the ulnar collateral ligament. You see that sometimes in some of the NBA players. So if hand and finger injuries are not uncommon either. The knee is a common source of injury. Now, it could just be like a mild injury, you know, like a patellar tendonitis from the repetitive jumping. That's the tendon uh, just below the kneecap, uh, down right, the pain will be right at the bottom of the kneecap at the top of that patella tendon and can be really aggravating, you know, pain with jumping, pain with running. Sometimes a strap uh, right uh, at that area can be helpful. A little bit of work with a physical therapist, ice, eccentric training, usually can get it better, but can really be a nagging problem. But it can be a traumatic knee injury. It can be a meniscus tear, uh, that C-shaped shock absorbing cartilage. It could be an ACL tear, the anterior cruciate ligament. And those are injuries that potentially need surgery. So if you're dealing with a traumatic knee injury, maybe you twisted awkwardly going to, to change directions. Maybe you landed badly from a jump and felt a pop in your knee. Go see an orthopedic surgeon and get it checked out. Probably the last one I'm gonna leave you with, certainly not all the injuries that can occur in basketball, but the other one worth pointing out is that eye injuries are common, especially in kids. Along with baseball, basketball has a, you know, not insignificant uh, rate of eye injuries. So something to at least thinking about, uh, think about is to wear protective eye gear to prevent getting poked in the eye you know, as you go for rebounds, you're caught up in the lane, things like that. So things worth thinking about. Now, have you suffered a basketball injury? And what was it? And what did you do to get over it? Or, you know, what uh, injuries have you seen outside of the ones I've talked about? 
I'd love to hear your thoughts, even if you have suggestions on how to avoid injuries in basketball. I'd love to read them, and I know viewers all around the world would love to hear them as well. So below this video, share your experience so we can all learn from what you have to say. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. Click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page. I record two or three of these videos every single week and they'll get delivered directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you know somebody that plays basketball and wants information on what injuries can potentially happen, please share this video. And I look forward to seeing you right here next time.